A very warm welcome my dear friends to Canopy of Science. Today we are going to learn about chloroplast. It is the kitchen of plants where food is prepared. So let's embark on this journey. Happy learning. Chloroplast is a cell organelle. It is a double membrane bound cell organelle. We cannot find chloroplast in animal cell. So where do we find chloroplast? It is exclusively found in plants and in some photosynthetic bacteria and blue green algae in plants chloroplasts are found in mesophyll tissues what are mesophyll tissues these are tissues which are found in upper and lower epidermis of leaf epidermis means the outer layer of skin of the leaves this is the upper epidermis of leaf and this is the lower epidermis of leaf chloroplast is called the organelle of photosynthesis why because this is the organelle where food is prepared by the process of photosynthesis in plants here in this picture you can see a detailed structure of chloroplast as we have learned that chloroplast is a double membrane bound cell organelle this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane it is a space called intermembrane space why it is called intermembrane space inter means in between since this space is present between the two membranes that is the outer membrane and the inner membrane it is called as a intermembrane space the total thickness of the outer and the inner membrane is approximately 50 to 70 angstrom As we go inside the inner membrane we get a proteinaceous liquid matrix which is the floor of the chloroplast stroma inside the stroma we get to see stacks of coins floating these stacks are called as thylakoids each coin is called a grana grana is the plural form and singular of grana is called granum thylakoids are interconnected by a membrane bound channel like structures which are called stroma lamella now let's see one single granum in the membrane of granum we can find the photosynthetic pigment called chlorophyll the chlorophyll is called the photosynthetic pigment because it can trap solar energy after it traps the solar energy this chlorophyll gets activated or excited then it helps in the process of photosynthesis chlorophyll is a pigment because it gives color which color it gives green color to the leaves of the plants this chlorophyll is made up of carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and magnesium generally in plants we find two types of chlorophyll they are chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b so finally let's discuss what are the functions of chloroplast chloroplast helps to entrap solar energy this function is done by chlorophyll which is present inside the chloroplast once the chlorophyll entraps solar energy they get excited or activated then this chlorophyll with the trapped solar energy carbon dioxide water prepares the food for plant the food which is prepared is called glucose finally due to the presence of chlorophyll in the chloroplast the leaves appear green in color the reason behind this is chlorophyll reflects away green wavelength of light and in turn they absorb the red and blue wavelength of light i hope you have enjoyed today's learning next video we will discuss about photosynthesis until next time stay healthy stay motivated and keep learning as knowledge is everywhere you just need to grab it